With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this problem, we have given the compound interest calculated yearly at 10% on a certain sum of money which amounts to 665.50 in the fifth year. Then we have to calculate the compound interest for the sixth year and the compound interest for the fourth year at the same rate and the same sum. So here R is given 10% and let principal at the beginning of the first year is taken as P. So according to problem amount at the end of fifth year that is A5 is equals to P times of 1 plus R that is 10 upon 100 raised to 5. So that implies A6 will be equal to P times of 11 upon 10 raised to 5. This is A5. So let's calculate the compound interest for the first year. So for the first year, compound interest, this will be equals to A6, that is the amount at the end of sixth year, minus the amount at the end of fifth year. So A6 is P times of 11 upon 10 raised to 6 minus a5 will be p multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 5. So we can common taking common we have p multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 5 multiplied by 11 upon 10 minus 1 which is equals to so p multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 5 its value is the amount is given as 665.50 so its value is 665.50 multiplied by 1 upon 10 which is equals to 66.55. This is the answer of first problem. Then coming to second one. <coughs> so in the second problem, we have to calculate the compound interest for the fourth year. So compound interest will be equals to amount at the end of fourth year minus amount at the end of third year which will be equal to p times of 11 upon 10 raised to 4 minus p times of 11 upon 10 raised to 3. Now we can do one thing taking common P multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 3. So we get 11 upon 10 minus 1, which is equals to. Okay. Then we will express this term that is P multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 11 upon 10 raised to 3. We can write it as P multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 5 upon 11 upon 10 raised to 2 multiplied by 1 upon 10. Next, we can write it as its value is p multiplied by 11 upon 10 raised to 5. This is equals to 665.50 six, six, and 11 upon 10 whole square, this can be written as 100 
upon 1 to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 10. So obviously 1 0 we can cancel out and if we calculate this then we get answer as 55. So this is the solution of second one. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.